Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today's video is the first video of our new beauty bootcamp series. And today we're gonna be talking about priming and foundation. Um, so before I started anything, I just made sure to start with a clean base. I washed my face um, and moisturized. Preferably I like to wait at least like five minutes before I begin starting my foundation. Um, I know that's not always doable though, especially when you have to leave the house in like 30 minutes. Um, but that's what I try to do. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, so first product I'm going to be using is primer. I use a professional uh, primer by Benefit. It helps kind of act as a, like a clean base. Um, it helps the foundation really stick to the skin, but also prevents the foundation from actually seeping into the skin. Um, yeah, so this one's great. It helps blur pores and helps just keep the skin nice and even and smooth. Um, it, I found it's really great too since I have oily skin. It helps prevent oil. I know it's not always preventable, but yeah, it helps as best as it can. So what I like to do is just take like a quarter, not necessarily a quarter, a pea size amount onto my finger and then I'll just rub it onto my skin. You really just want to make sure you get it all over the face. I really like to concentrate it in the T-zone areas because that's where my pores are most visible and that's where I produce the most oil. After my primer, I like to wait about like five minutes or so just to let the product really um, set in. You know, sometimes it when you're putting so many products on your face, it's just you're putting more and more product on your face and it's just kind of like sitting there in layers. So if you just kind of like let it set in, um, it'll apply better. But so yeah, wait about five minutes and we'll get back to it. Um, okay, so five minutes are up. Um, I'm now gonna be going in with foundation. I like the, I've been using the Huda Beauty foundation. Um, it's been a favorite of mine. So as of late, um, I'm the shade Shortbread. Um, when I am doing something like just like everyday look, I kind of like a full coverage foundation so that way I don't have to worry about too, covering too many blemishes. Um, it's just kind of like great for an even canvas for the rest of the day. Um, so I'll take a pump of this. And with foundation, there's two ways of putting it on, um, brush and beauty sponge. Um, I prefer the beauty blender, but I'm going to be showing you both today. So I'm going to be doing half my face with brush and half my face with beauty sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and dip it in. So you guys can see, very full coverage, but I like it. <laughs> side of my face done um, kind of look a little crazy right now um, but this side's been done with a brush what's really great about brushes are you can really cover a great amount of area in a quick amount of time so if you're in a rush brushes are a great alternative this one is a morphe m439 it's great buffer brush really get the product in there while making sure that you're not creating any lines um, but you're still getting maximum coverage um, now I'm going to be going in with the beauty blender for the other side of my face. It's pretty dirty, so please don't mind that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to be going this side of the face. Now with the beauty blender. makeup sponges in general are um, because they are wet they absorb excess amount of product so it prevents it from being able to get like cakey um, I really like to use this for every day prevent the cakiness you know especially when going to like school and stuff like that um, this is a really great alternative now I'm gonna be taking the brush and I'm gonna be blending down my neck uh, you want to prevent getting that harsh line which makes it look like you're wearing a mask when you have your foundation on especially a full coverage one like this um, so just take it down your neck a little bit so your face and your neck look like one color. 
And a great little trick I've learned too, um, sometimes my ears will get like sunburnt or a little red. Um, you could always take a little excess you have on your brush and just blend it on the little tips of your ears too. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have one face done with brush, one face done with makeup sponge. They both have their pros and cons. Beauty sponge takes a little bit longer, but it helps you get that seamless effect and helps you get into like small little corners of your face while the brush is a lot quicker. Um, but sometimes you won't have as much as a seamless finish. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below and make sure you like and subscribe this video. Bye.